Hi, my name is Nima Razavion. I'm a first year here at UC Berkeley, and my Second Life avatar is Nima Peoples. Hi, I'm Roxy Undercroft, and I'm an undergraduate anthropology student here at UC Berkeley. Hi, I'm Zed Marseille. Hi, I'm Shauna Hine, and in world my name's Sage Hishop. And I'm Eileen Solchukolu, and in world I'm Mandalina Dearson. So we're both master's students at the School of Information at UC Berkeley. Uh, my name is Conrad. Uh, in real life, my name is Daniel. I'm a third year undergraduate at UC Berkeley and uh, majoring in uh, EECS, which is Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Well, my name is Colleen Morgan. I am a UC Berkeley Archaeology PhD student, and my second life name is Clementine Glass. Uh, my avatar is called Ruth Galileo. I'm actually a professor at UC Berkeley. My real name is Ruth Tringham. Hi, I'm August, and welcome to Copy Island. Okay, so we're on the southern part of the East Mount, and I'm now looking north, and I'm looking towards a tent there which is representing the uh, Berkeley archaeologists of Chattelhuyuk area, and we're going to now walk down towards the bottom of the hill at the bottom of the north area. So if you will follow me, that would be great. We're going to walk, or maybe we'll fly. Let's all fly in formation, that would be wonderful. Okapi Island is run by Open Knowledge and the Public Interest, or Okapi, and the Department of Anthropology at the University of California, Berkeley. We use our virtual real estate to explore new forms of teaching, learning, and public outreach. What we actually did was to use the island to build a model, scale model, of Chattelhuyuk, the mound. It's called the East Mound at Chattelhuyuk. It's 9,000 years old. It was a village. It was built up as a mound through having an old house used as the foundations of a new house in every case, so that uh, gradually the mound was built up of the architectural and debris and trash and other stuff cultural debris of living during a thousand year period, 9,000 years ago, in what we call the Neolithic, which is the sort of beginning of agriculture and animal domestication. Why I decided to work on this project is because it combines both um, anthropology and computer science together. The uh, main projects I've done here is to recreate the island, um, as you can see uh, around us. Uh, we were able to get topology maps from the archaeologists who were at Chotahoyuk. And what I did was use um, third-party programs to uh, transform that data into something that Second Life can use. So you can see that the topology map um, recreated here. I uh, added some trees and shrubs to make it more uh, lifelike. We also uh, wanted to put in some of the the data that we've collected some, to give people an idea of what it's like at the mound nowadays. So we included this model of the Berkeley archaeologists at, at Chattelhuyuk, what's called the Bach excavation, and we also included an area in the um, southwest of the mound which had been excavated in the 1960s and was excavated again in, uh, from the new project starting in 1993. Welcome to the reconstructed house here at Chateau Huyuk. Uh, I worked on this this the spring of 2008, and this is a reconstruction of what we might have thought the um, houses at Chateau Huyuk might have looked like. And I'm sitting on a bench, a platform, and I've actually excavated several of these platforms at Chateau Huyuk, so it's kind of fun that I actually got to build one instead of take one apart for once. We're working on a project called Slicker. Basically what it is is bringing Flickr photos into Second Life. Uh, as you can see, we have like a screen and we're showing different photos and basically you can just grab Flickr, 
<laughs> grab photos from Flickr by tag or username or pool or set, and it just can kind of enhance the experience. Um, another thing was to create uh, some local sounds so that users can not only visually see the island, but also use audio as a means to interact with the space. Ruth uh, had a lot of video walks taken uh, at the site and I created a, a video player so that people can hold it like an iPod and walk around uh, virtually while watching real life uh, footage of the video walk. I designed the path that you see behind me. It's meant to mirror the path that you see in the video walk. He just disappeared. Sorry guys, I clicked the wrong button and teleported.